My name is Erin McGregor. I'm at Chamberlain Elementary School. This is my third grade class, and today we will be doing rounding. Good job. All right, we will be doing rounding. Why is rounding important? <coughs> Bailey. Because you might need to round something when, like, you grow up, where you need to round some money or something. Round it for what? Conti? Is estimating? It is estimating. And why is estimating important? Leah? Because, like, sometimes it is a problem or it can involve money. You can round so you can get to the exact. Right, very good. Okay, so sometimes with money you want to round, like if you go to the movies, you round like about how much you can ask your parents for. So today we are going to be rounding, but I want you to be thinking about the number. First, just I want you to think about the number, everything you know. So we're going to practice that. My number is going to be 2,397. So I'm going to give everybody a minute to think about that number. And I want you to tell me everything you can about 2,397. Russell, what is something you can tell me? Um, it's a four-digit number. Very good. It is a four-digit number, which means it goes up to the yeah. thousands place. Very good. Nevaeh? On the three, it is the value 300. Very good. So the three is 300. So there's three hundreds which equals 300. Savion? There's nine tens equals 90. Very good. There's nine tens. That equals 90. Jasmine? Um, it's it in between 1,000 and 2,000. I mean, 1,000 1, and 3,000. It is in between 1,000 and 3,000. You are correct. Could we narrow that down a little? Um, you, you are correct. It is in between 1,000 and 3,000. It's in between 2,396 and 2,300. <laughs> Very good. It is, yes. Very good. It is in between 2,396. And then it would go my number, 2,397. And then... 2,398. Very good. It is in between those. Um, Kai, what can you tell me? The seven is in the ones place. Yep, there's seven ones, so that equals what? Seven. Very good. So it's seven. Josiah? So it's in a thousand place and it's two thousand. Very good, you guys. The two, so there's two thousands. And that equals two thousand. Is there anything else? Jalen? It is in between 2,000 and 3,000. So that's kind of what I meant. Here's 2,000. And it is actually, it is between 1,000 and 3,000, but it is even more specifically in between 2,000 and 3,000. Very good. There's more. Kyrie? It is? What, pl what place are you looking at? Um, the, um, the one. Right, so we have a seven in the ones. Is seven going to be even or odd? It's even? All right, so what does it mean to be even? Oh, no, it's odd. It's odd? Why is it odd? Because, um, because it's a seven? Who can explain what makes it odd? What makes the number seven odd? Samaya? Keep going, because if you count what? 
If I write the number seven, what does it kind of mean? What makes a number even or odd? How do we go through that? Jasmine? Um, even is two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. And um, odd is one, three, five, seven, nine. Yes. And the way I always look at it is here's, you partner them up. Here's an even number. Odd means there's someone without a partner. What else can you tell me? So this number is... We all agree that it's uh, odd. All right. What else can you tell me about this number, Bailey? If you are rounding to the nearest ten, it will be between ninety, ninety, and um, one hundred. One, two thousand one hundred. All right. You're on the right track. You are so close on that, and I love it. She said if you're, it's in between two thousand. 390. Well, that means we would be skip counting by tens, and we made it all the way to 2,390. What if we were skip counting by tens? We'd be like 2,370, 2,380, 2,390. What comes next when you're skip counting by tens? Jalen? 2,410. I understand why you said that. Well, what can we do to figure it out? We can add 10, so let's add 10. What did I get? 2,400. I got 2,400. Very good. All right, so we have 2,397. You guys told me a lot about its expanded form, about its values. You told me it's between all these. There's one other thing I think we can say it's between. What hundreds is it between? What two hundreds? Jasmine? Um, so you're saying 2,300 and 2,400. Very good, it is. Do you guys agree? Yeah. It is between those two hundreds. All right, you guys knew a lot about that number. So what you are going, you know more? What? In the nearest 10, around to 100. In the nearest 10, so you would round it up to 2,400 to the nearest 10? Mm -hmm. What it would go to the nearest, it would also be 100? It would go to 2,400. It would go to 2,400. You're correct. Nevaeh? Um, it's between um, 2,200 to the... 2,400. It is. It is because 2,200 200 would be over here. Yeah. So it definitely is between. All right. So what you're going to do today is at your seat, you're going to find something that looks like this. These, All three of these are the same number. So don't worry about it. First, we're going to round to the nearest 1,000. It's going to be your job to take your number and first be with, with your partner do this. Tell me everything you know about your number. Then I need you to create a number line proving how you are going to round your number to the nearest thousand first. So what would probably start it here if this was your number? Conti? A thousand. And then what would you, would it, this is in between one thousand and, Conti? It is in between 1,000 and uh, 3,000. 2,000. 1,000, 2,000. And then you need to figure out what these dashes are between. I'm going to give you five minutes to complete your number line, round your number, and talk about everything you can about your number with your partner. And you can use your dry erase marker to write on your desk. Any questions? All right. Uh, when you hear the timer, if your number rounds to 1,000, I want you to sit on this carpet. When you're, if your number rounds to 2,000, I want you to sit on this carpet. Okay. Um, one change seven. equals 30. Zero and one, zero, zero and two thousand. Two thousand, yeah. Round zero. 
Okay. So what does two thousand? Okay. It's it has the two. I mean, it has the one and the thousand twice. Yep, that looks excellent. Why do you think it rounds to two thousand? Because it's told it to round up. Okay, so what? Okay, what's the five? What five? This five. Like, the five goes, the five and up goes that way, and four and down goes that way. Right, very good. So since you're rounding to the nearest thousand, what place value actually tells you to go up or down? The hundred place. Very good. Mm -hmm. When you come to the carpet, all you need to bring with you is, hopefully you've already done your number line, and I see they identify that they think their number rounds to 2,000. Bring your post-it and sit either on the rug that you think says it rounds to 1,000 or the rug that you think rounds to 2,000 with your partner and just your post-it. You have these discussion starters. It does not matter who amongst yourself you talk with. They say, in your group, what is the highest number? What is the lowest number? So what I would like you to now do as a group with your post-its is to put them from smallest to biggest. Oh, Here's the fifth note. That's the highest number. That's do you all agree that your numbers have been put smallest to lowest? Yes. Yeah. 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 Who said no? Wait, Nobody? Okay. So, what is the next question you need to go through? Okay, so you guys have done that. Now this, what place values are important? So I want you to start looking at your numbers. And I want you to tell me what you have in common. Why do you guys think you all round to 2,000? Do you agree that all those numbers round to 2,000? Yes. Why? Oh, wait, no. Because this one doesn't. Well, you don't think that's it's it's a thousand. It doesn't have a thousand. So all of your numbers in 100 should be what? Five and above. Five and above. Okay? Yep. All right, so do you have them in order from smallest no. to biggest yet? Yes. Yep. No. Yep. Which way am I going? Smallest yeah. over there? Yeah. 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 All right, let's flip it. Let's put, always do it like you're reading. So, well, thank you. Actually, that works. Thank you. So, you guys agree that those are smallest to biggest? Yes. So, you guys all agree that these numbers round to 1,000. You agree? You think all these numbers round to 1,000? Number Why? That's why. Why do all these round 2,000? Explain it to me. What is four and down? What does? What place value? Four and under. Four and under. What what place value? Four. Four, three, two, one. I heard it. Down and like I understand that, but I see a lot. I see an eight here. I see a seven. I see a six, a nine. Because it's one. What is that, Leah? No. So the hundreds place is important when you're around to the nearest thousand. Yeah. And now, so what should all of your hundreds have? Why do you always a four, a four or lower. A four or lower. Lower. So a four. So they all have four or lower. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. So the thousands group did a very good job. And they said, it's okay, that's probably going to happen and it's going to be okay. They said that these are their numbers 
in order from smallest to biggest. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, and we know as a class that all of these are between 1,000 and 2,000. Okay? The people who said their numbers rounded to 2,000, this may just keep happening, it's going to be okay. Put them in order from smallest to biggest as well. 1,000s, do you agree? Yeah. That they did it right? Yes. Okay. Both groups came up with why their number rounded to either 1,000 or 2,000. Who would like to explain why? I want one person from each group. Jasmine, why do you think that your group's numbers all round to 2,000? Because if we were rounding from the thousands, there's five, six, six, seven, nine. Okay. What does that have to do with anything? And where are you talking about? Five, because I see like ones, and twos, zeros, fours. Oh my. That number's just going to go bye-bye forever. <laughs> um, because there's a five, there's a five and above always rounds up. Okay, I agree. So we, I keep hearing this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine rounds up. Four, three, two, one rounds down. I agree with that. But Thank you. you're not explaining it well enough for me because I see these, all the numbers have all these digits. <laughs> Jalen? Because a lot of this was going to round it to a thousand and then you have to go next door and then it tells you to go up. Okay, so we're rounding to the nearest thousand and it's next door, which is the next door neighbor. What place value is that? Leah? The hundreds place? So when you're rounding to the nearest thousand, the hundreds place, after you figure out what two thousands it's between, the hundreds place is important? Is the hundreds place important? Yes. yes. Thank you for joining our classroom. I hope you learned something about rounding. And thank you for coming to Chamberlain Elementary School. Here at Chamberlain, we are... Game Changers!